at least with a couple of thoughts um, on the game from Coach Schwachenbach, and then we'll take questions. Okay. Um, well, you know, I was pleased with the effort that our, uh, our guys gave today. Uh, we hung with them offensively. I thought our pitchers did a good job of, you know, keeping them off balance. Uh, if we make a couple more plays, I think the game is just a little bit closer, and maybe we can uh, we can eat it out in the end. But um, they're a very disciplined team at the plate. They did a good job of working counts. Uh, obviously, they're a very deep pitching staff, and to be able to play match it the way they do, uh, lefties and righties, it's just a huge advantage for them. So, um, you know, you tip your cap to that team. They they just did what they do all year, and that's that's win ball games and win close games and use their pitching staff to to their, their best advantage. Um, but I was pleased with again, I'm pleased with my effort or our team's effort, and uh, you know, I expect our guys to come out tomorrow with the same type of effort and, and uh, give East Carolina a run. Questions? Coach, the delay came right after his home run, and he got two runs. How did that affect? In 71 minutes waiting, you got some momentum. You know, it's uh, the thing was we came back and we scored another run right there. So I don't think it was uh, a factor for us offensively. Um, Nick Busta, who was pitching before the delay, you know, he felt fine and looked good in the pen. So we had no real concerns about uh, you know about the delay about coming back out and playing that. So I thought the you know the staff did a great job of managing that. Um, we've got thunderstorms popping up like that. It's just a, a tremendously challenging situation, and, and I know as well as anybody that the challenge of dealing with weather um, and trying to, you know, I'm usually the one with the spotlight on me making the call on what to do, and it's nice to have somebody else doing that for us here today, but they did a great job, and the management staff has been well. Brian, you guys got 13 hits. Do you think you normally would be able to stretch out a few more runs with that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we uh, we got a lot of hits, all, but they were kind of spread out here and there, but um, I, I'm surprised so we, like, we did get more runs. I think like 1,300 to expect to score more, but their pitching staff came in with runners on base and we were able to shut us down in certain situations. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with everybody how they swung the bats. Everybody wasn't wasn't afraid to get up there and swing and be aggressive. So we saw some really good arms and guys weren't afraid to just get up there and be aggressive and hit the ball. Coach, do you feel like getting this first game out of the way since you guys haven't been here in like 30 years or whatnot, first time experience for everyone? Getting it out of the way, will help you through the rest of the weekend and against East Carolina tomorrow? It may. Um, I thought the first hit by Brandon was a big key to to cut the tension. Um, you know, just to, to get that first one on the board and to let everybody just kind of put their shoulders down a little bit was a big factor for us. I, I got a little anxious trying to score a run just to try to get us going, and we got um, thrown out of the play. But, um, you know, we, we like to play aggressively, so we're going to go after it and try to, try to spark the team. But... This team is it's fun to be around because they don't usually need um, too much motivation from me. They just they have a great time in the dugout together and they just push each other and screw around with one another. It's just it's just a great great atmosphere. So um, I expect them to do the same thing tomorrow and just keep playing the same way they've been playing all year. Coach Kyle Moran had four hits today for them. He's been a couple of big rounds. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the way you guys approached him to play? How do you assess the way they? Well, we left a couple pitches up that we didn't want. Um, one, I think there was a changeup that he golfed out to right. It, it's just a great piece of hitting. So he's, you know, one of the top hitters maybe in the country. Um, so you're going to take your, your lumps against a guy like that from time to time. Um, but you do have to, to make pitches against him. And we didn't, there are a couple of bats where we didn't make pitches and, and he just laced one into the, into the outfield. So... Uh, you know, if different situations arose where we could pitch around them, we would have, but, you know, I think there was one first and second. Uh, we didn't want to load the bases then and see what happened there. We need to go after people and try to get them out, and, and it didn't work out that time, so we'll see what happens next time. Coach, your shortstop, uh, Marshall, made two just unbelievable diving plays out there. Is that something that you've come to expect from him, or is that something that just kind of maybe the juices today got flowing a little bit? Absolutely, we expect that from Marshall. He's uh, he makes all the routine plays and he makes some spectacular ones on top of that. And it was um, it was actually our fault that he had the second spectacular play. We had just moved him into the six hole, um, you know, by error, I guess, and uh, gave him just enough room to make make a spectacular play and hopefully uh, make a highlight reel somewhere. But he's he's a spark plug for us defensively. He's done a great job um, not only making plays but leading the infield. 
whether it be in practice or whether it be during the game, he's like having a second coach out there, a second infield coach. And uh, there were times this year where I would just let him, in practice, I'd let him run, run drills. He's got a great set of drills in his head, and he uh, communicates them well, and he's, he's moving on to coaching after, uh, after he plays college baseball. He's going to be coaching professionally in Australia and playing a little bit. So he's got uh, just baseball in his blood. Tremendous young man who's got uh, just a bright future ahead of him. Brian, you struck out a couple of times before the home run. What did you see there in the sixth? Um, I was those first two at bats, just getting comfortable seeing these NC um, arms. Two good left. That lefty was pitched me pretty well, moving in, in and out on the plate. So uh, I was able to actually get into a hitting count. He got ahead of me in those first two at bats, so I was fighting, but uh, I was able to get two home and just sit fastball and go to one up and in. So I just was able to get a nice swing on it, so it felt comfortable being in the hitter's, hitter's count. So just take advantage and just put a good swing on it. Brandon, how, how tough is it? Your coach mentioned you know, their pitching staff. You had two promising rallies, one in the sixth and then you know, the one in the ninth, but their pitchers just bore down and wouldn't, wouldn't give you anything else. How tough is it to face their relief pitching? Um, you know, they do a good job uh, with their matchup, as Coach said, and uh, you know, they came in and they did their job as the relief pitchers. They played defense on uh, the defense played well behind them when they came in. And, uh, you know, they had guys with good off speed, and, uh, you know, it's tough sometimes to have those rallies in, but you got to just be able to come back and make adjustments for the next day. Coach, who will you pitch tomorrow? Brian McAfee will be on the mound. Any other questions? Thanks, Great. Thank Thanks, you. Walker.